Okay, so I'm going to start this video with it sideways, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, what we've got here is a soil sample that we took from the prairie. We want to analyze our soil um, based on what kinds of particles it contains. So yesterday you learned about how soil is formed from the top down and the bottom up, this combination of nutrients and solid content. So there are three basic types of uh, particles in sand. One is, uh, sand, uh, sorry, in soil, one is sand, one is silt, and one is clay. Sand is the largest particle, silt is next, and then clay is very, very small. And so we can use this process of separating out these particles. Um, whenever you take a mixture of different sizes of particles, the big things settle on the bottom, then the next big, big thing, and then the smallest things will settle last. So we can segregate our particles based on size um, by using this property. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our sample, I got this from the prairie yesterday, and I'm going to put in some solution, this is uh, bath salts, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to shake it, right, so I'm going to make sure that it's completely shaking, shaken, I'm going to get all the particles off the bottom. Now the reason, you can do this with water, but the reason that we want to use bath salts is because it's a detergent and the detergent clings to the particles and helps them separate more easily. Now, normally we would stir, we would shake this for about a minute or so and we would let it sit overnight. And so I've already done that. So here's what happens when it's finished. So this is a sample of soil that is already settled out. And if you notice, if you look carefully, we have sand, silt, and then clay on the very, very top. Now, if we do this in a graduated cylinder, we can actually calculate the percentages of each one um, base part, which is their volume, to the whole, which is a volume of the whole sample. So if I use my graduated cylinder marks, then what I found here is that I have, I'm going to pull this over, Okay, I'm going to refocus because it was focused on the, um, let's do that one more time. Okay. So what we have now is it turns out that if I measure the volumes for sand, I had about 5 milliliters in my graduated cylinder. And the total amount of my sample was about 31 milliliters. Remember, these are just approximates because you can't, uh, it's not a real exact thing. So I'm going to take part over the whole times 100, and that gives me 16%. My silt was about 25 milliliters. It was primarily silt in there. Part over the whole times 100, and I get 81 and then for the clay, I get part, about one milliliter, very small, over the whole, times 100, and that turns out to be about 3%. So all of this added together should equal 100%. Okay. Now that I have these values, what I can do is go to what's called a soil texture chart. And the soil texture chart will tell me what kind of, there, that's better, uh, what kind of soil I have. So if you notice at the corners of each of the triangle, um, I have 100% uh, silt, 100% clay, and 100% sand. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with sand, and I said that I had 16% sand. So I'm going to take my ruler on the sand line, and I'm going to draw a line at about 16% sand. I said I had about 81% silt, so I'm going to do that. And then I have about on the clay side, ooh, a really small amount of clay, about 3%. So we're kind of meeting right about there. 
So there's where the three meet. So once you find out where they meet, you say, okay, I have a silt loam sand. So it is a loam, which is good, and it's heavy, heavy on the silt. And so by using a graduated cylinder and some very simple calculations, I have determined that the soil in the Tiger Prairie is a silty loam.